Hello, ministry partners from the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship and all of those who are listening. It's Pastor Anderson from the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship. Wanted to say hello to you again. Let's hear what God has to say to us from his word. And let's look at Ephesians, the fourth chapter, beginning at verse one. Therefore, I, a prisoner for serving the Lord, beg you to lead a life worthy of your calling. For you have been called by God. Always be humble and gentle. Be patient with each other, making allowances for each other's faults because of your love. Make every effort to keep yourselves united in the spirit, binding yourselves together with peace. For there is one body, one spirit, just as you have been called by one glorious hope for the future. There is one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and father of all who is over all and in all and living through all. What a powerful passage. Look with me in that second verse, the B clause. He says, be patient with one another, making allowance for each other's faults because of your love. Make every effort to keep yourselves united in the spirit, binding yourselves together in peace. What a powerful word. That's an awesome challenge that God gives to us through and by the Apostle Paul. Notice what he tells us. He says, be patient with each other. We live in a world today that we need to learn to be patient. Have you ever had a situation whereby you were sitting at a traffic light? You knew what it's about to turn green and you are ready to go, but it hadn't turned green yet. Too often times we don't give ourselves enough room to be patient so we can go and we surely don't give other people the enough patience that they need to move forward. You know, there was a song that was written by the Bill Gaither trio that said, he's still working on me to make me what I ought to be. It took him just a week to make the moon of the stars, the sun and the earth and Jupiter, Mars. How loving and patient he must be. He's still working on me. I think in all of our lives, we should have a sign that's up in front whenever we approach anybody to say under construction, please proceed with caution and reduce your speed. If all of us would just slow down, and just take a few moments to be patient with those in our lives, to be patient with those who are around us. It is then that we can understand how God has been patient with us. We should surely be patient with one another. We live in a world in a day and an age whereby as we see everything that's happening with COVID-19, some of us have to be a little bit more patient. Many of us have been gnawing and chomping at the bit. I'm ready to get back to worship. But many of us have understood we need to slow it down some because the numbers are steadily going up. We need to learn to slow it down some, even as many of us come to our decisions about other ethnicities. We need to make sure that we give enough room and give enough grace that other people can say that I apologize, I've done wrong. Even in all of our efforts to try to be correct on the race card, to be correct on all of the things that are racial involvement, we need to make sure that we all understand God made the human race. I was so pleased this weekend as we've heard about those who are Native Americans, those who are already here in this land before it was supposedly discovered. We need to make sure that we stop using all of these symbols that use the name of Native Americans, calling them Indians in such a way. We need to be sensitive culturally to everybody. And if we learn to be patient with one another, it's then that we can truly see God's spirit working patiently in us. It says in that in that third uh, verse, it talks about that we might bind ourselves in the unity of the spirit. It is through and by the Holy Spirit that God unites us and makes us one. When the spirit leads and guides, he will convict us whenever we have offended someone and he will bring us to the place that we ought to be. I know myself many times in my efforts to try to do the right thing, I may have offended someone. And all of us have to learn to be able to say, I apologize. It was not my intent. Let's try to move forward. Let's try to make sure this is the land that it ought to be, the land in which God has created that all of us learn to live together, to work together, and to pray together. My brothers and sisters, God bless you to all of our ministry partners. Thank you so very much for watching. For all of those who are watching, we appreciate so much how you have subscribed, how you've liked, and how you shared. Keep on sharing the good news of the message of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, that others might come to know him as well. God bless you. Hope you have a great day. And I look forward to seeing you on Wednesday. Thank you so very much for your prayerful support and all the things that we have done in ministry to help so many others. We encourage you to please remember to sow a seed. We sow seeds in more ways than one. We can tangibly sow a seed into this ministry by going to thefountainofraleigh.org and click at the donate button. It is from there you can safely and securely give through PayPal or else you may use the Tithely app. We thank you so very much for your generous support 
in times past, and we thank you for your present support and what you will do in the future. May God richly bless you exceedingly and abundantly above all that you're able to ask, say, or think according to his power at work in you. God bless you.